Hi there, I'm Daniel and I thought it would be a good idea to take a video of our beautiful Park Hyatt Heather Island that we stayed on. Um, so here we go. This is the Park Pool Villa that we stayed in. The room's a bit messy because we're just about to leave, which is a shame. Here's the pool, nice, nice and blue. Nice plunge pool. Great for relaxing in the afternoon. Walk straight onto the beach. And it's a lovely day once again. I'm going to walk around the island. It'll probably take about 10 minutes. This is Paul Villa 25. I think this is supposed to be one of the nicest ones. They're all the same really, but they have different levels of shade and views. As you can see, the tide's out at the moment. All the corals sticking out of the water. We've been here for two weeks, it's been absolutely amazing. The diving has been out of this world. Sharks, eagle rays, turtles. Unbelievable. It's a bit cloudy today. In the last two weeks that we've been here, the weather has been absolutely beautiful. Believe it or not, the water even though it's hardly moving that would be classed as quite choppy in comparison to what we've had for the last two weeks it's been like a lake here unbelievable so I walk down onto the uh, uh, I think this is the eastern edge of the island there might be a bit of wind noise on the video but it's not actually windy I haven't got a good microphone for this camera. Villa in there. That's palm trees, they look very idyllic. Look at that for a view. I think this side of the island, when the when the sea's in a bit higher, you don't necessarily get the good beach like we had. Um, but it's still amazing all the same. It's quite an ecologically friendly island. They don't use any plastic bottles here. Uh, all of the water on the island is as you can see from these two pipes that are coming up it's pumped in from the sea goes through some RO filters des desalinization I think and then it gets bottled into glass and then those get reused and then any of the wastewater is treated on site and then I think pumped out through one of the other ones and these other two pipes here
even though this is all a bit rocky here. It's actually good for the island because it gives a good, good bit of protection, stops the sand being eroded away. The crabs down there. It's getting a bit slippery here. Go back onto the sand. Villa number six. As you can imagine, when the tides and the tides, it now be quite cool being in your infinity pool, just overlooking the Indian Ocean. Amazing views. Again, palm trees looking nice. This one looks like it's been eroded away. It's been held up a bit there. These two, yeah, being held up as well. But again, the views are just amazing. This jetty here, this is a uh, dusk jetty, and we jump off here for the night dives. Uh, the boat usually leaves in the morning from here for the, for the twin tank boat trip. Pool Villa number one, one of the guests there. Step straight into the sea when the tide's in. Beautiful. Navigate around here a little bit. There's some sandbags here, it doesn't look too great, but yeah. I think that the only sandbags on the island, so you can you can live with it. Yeah, park high at Hadaha. the resort. Under the jetty here. There's another jetty on the other side of the island, uh, which is Dawn Jetty. <laughs> okay, I'm walking around the beach here. The sand is beautiful and white here. We just had a storm come over. A little while ago, it's the only time it rained in the whole two weeks we were here. Some kayaks there if you want to go and have a paddle around the island. Have a look at the beautiful reefs that are here. A couple of guests. I think there's only 50 villas on this island, um, which means it's always very quiet. It always feels like it's pretty much your own little tropical hideaway. These are the Sunset Water Villas towards the end of the jetty there, and then the standard water villas. I mean, I think they're all exactly the same, but some have a slightly better view of the sunset. The sunsets here have been absolutely superb though. Can't fault this place. I mean look at that, how could you? The diving has been superb. The service has been very good, the food's been good. Yeah, just very sad to leave. And the last walk around the island now. Hopefully this gives an insight to some people that are potentially thinking about coming and staying here. I'd highly recommend you come here but 
yeah. Hopefully not everyone books it up because then I won't be able to come back, so <laughs> don't come here. Joke. So uh, over on the island there, uh, you can see some pergolas, the wooden structure in the centre there. They do a, um, a private beach dinner. Um, kind of coming down a bit here. Might go up. What I'll do is I'll wander back this way. Uh, actually, I'll go through the beach grill, past the pool area, the bar, and then the dive centre. Where I came from, our villa is literally just round that corner there, by the Dawn Jetty. So I would just walk through here. This is the beach grill. Serves very good food. Lots of nice steak choices, lobster, seafood. Obviously empty at the moment. I think it opens at about six o'clock at night. What's quite cool as well is you can sit at these chairs here and watch the chefs prepare your dinner. Careful, there's a step there. I've nearly fallen over it a couple of times. Nearly did just then. So now we go a bit more into the heart of the island. Not that it's very big. It only took me, what, 12 minutes there to walk around it. But it doesn't feel too small. Not for us anyway, we were diving every day of the holiday. So that was good to see. Uh, let's go this way. This is the bar. Hi up. Main swimming pool. People having their breakfast. Divers. Oh, yeah. Swimming pool looking beautiful again. I think I measured the temperature in the pool, it's 34 degrees Celsius. Oh, yeah. It's quite a nice private island, but being on the dive boat every day you get to see a few people Meet a few people for a drink at the end of the night, yes, yeah, nice. In here is the Dhoni, it's an upside down walled even uh, traditional boat. It's actually a really nice structure. I think this used to be the bar, um, but even the main bar at night is, you know, two or three people in there, so it's quite quiet. Um, so I don't think it was really necessary to have such a big bar like they have in this Dhoni, but um, yeah, it's very impressive to see amount of work and detail that's gone into it. Coral sand everywhere. They're very nice to walk on. Much better than wearing shoes. And this is back to the jetty. And then if we go around here, and uh, this will take us towards uh, the main reception and the spa I'll just walk into the dive centre quickly it's the dive centre hi Agmal hello I'm off now so see you in a year <laughs> yep Hang on. Sorry. Morning. Sorry, I got interrupted by one of the dive guys there saying goodbye to us. The diving here is quite expensive, so it's worth, uh, if you have your own equipment, bring your own equipment, save some money. Uh, it's also worth booking a number of dives in advance because it saves you a little bit of money too. 
is a fitness centre, some people working out. Uh, there's a yoga room here, I think they do dusk and dawn yoga sessions perhaps. Uh, this is the spa area where you can get treatments and whatever. Uh, we spent a half an afternoon at this pool here, it's very nice. Never anyone here, and this is peak season. Every bed is empty. Lovely place, stunning. Walking through the center of the island back to our villa. We stayed in the uh, morning. We stayed in the, I think it was Villa 30, which was a park villa uh, without the pool, uh, which was very nice. They're both the same inside. Some more guests. Morning. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yeah, Park Park Villa versus Pool Villa. Pool Villa every time, I think. We were to come back. Hello. Hiya. Hello. <laughs> um, all the staff are very friendly, as you can see. Uh, yeah, the Pool Villa is really nice. Just to sit there for a couple of hours, soaking up the afternoon sun. And you can just dip off in the pool if it's a bit too a bit too warm for you. Superb. We've been to three. Three, two other Maldives islands, uh, Constance Mafushi, uh, Lily Beach, both in the South Ari Atoll, whereas this is in the Garfu Ali Atoll, which I think is north of forgive my pronunciation there, um, but it's a one hour domestic flight from Male to Kudu Airport and then there's a 30 minute speedboat transfer to actually get to this island. I uh, so it's a bit of a trek, but hopefully from the video you can tell it's worth it. Um, it certainly has been for us. Uh, to the left here, these buildings, this is where all the staff sleep, work, back of house staff. We've done the back of house tour, it's quite surprising how big it actually is. Um, but they all seem to have very nice conditions. Uh, it's very, um, very much about ergonomics here. Um, so the staff are well looked after. I keep getting confused at this bit. I can't remember if this is our villa or not. No, this is 23 where the next little turn off. And here we are, Villa 26. We spent 10 days in the uh, Park Villa and the last four days in the Park Pool Villa, which was uh, definitely worth it. Very nice uh, to upgrade and have the pool up the steps. Now we're going to have one more look at the, at the beautiful pool that we've got here. The rooms are very nice with all the glazing and the shutters. Can't get much better than that, can it? Let's have a look at the sea one more time. Let's go this way. This is the infinity pool. Superb. palm trees onto the white sand look at that and there is the there is the dawn jetty 
with a boat bringing some supplies or taking something away. Yep, very sad to leave. It's been beautiful here, absolutely beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video tour. Please uh, give us thumbs up or ask any questions. If you've got any questions, uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions. So, yep, thanks for watching.